Hello there. In this video, we're going to discuss a arithmetic test known as Chica's test, which can be used to determine whether a number is divisible by seven. So this is called Chica's test. So it can answer questions of the following forms. So is 119 divisible by seven? So does seven go into 119 evenly? You could even make this a little bit more larger. So is 2,261 divisible by seven? And say is 47,481 also uh, divisible by seven? So in this video, we'll just dis uh, discuss how to use Chica's test to determine whether a number is divisible by seven or whether it's not divisible by seven. So, Chica's test for divisibility by seven continues as so. So the rule says multiply the last digit of the number of interest by five and add that result to the remaining So remaining, R-E-M-A-I-N-I-N-G, uh, number, or the result to the number formed by its remaining digits. I guess is the best way to say. So that's what Chica's test for divisibility by seven is stated. So let's work through a couple examples to sort of illustrate this. So example one. So let's test the number 119. So the first thing we're going to do is look at its last digit, which is nine, and then we're gonna multiply this digit by five. So as we know, nine times five is gonna be equal to 45. So 45. And then we're going to add to this number the remaining, the number formed by its remaining digits. So this is gonna be 11. So 45 plus 11 is going to be 56. So the question then becomes, is 56 divisible by seven or not? So let's assume you do not know this answer. So we're going to continue this pattern again. So we're gonna multiply six by five. So six times five is gonna be equal to 30. And then we're going to add to it its remaining number digit, which is gonna be five, which is 35. So then is 35 divisible by seven? Let's assume that you do not know this answer either. So I'm gonna take the last digit, which is five, and I'm gonna multiply it by five. So that's gonna be 25. And I'm going to add to it its remaining number digit, which is gonna be three. So now we get 28. So is 28 divisible by seven? We can continue this pattern on if we want to. So eight times two is gonna be equal to 16. And 16 plus two is going to be equal to um, 18. Just kidding. We need to multiply the last digit by five. So eight times five is gonna be 40. And 40 plus eight is going to be equal to, 40 plus two, sorry, it's gonna be 42. So is 42 divisible by seven? Well, you should have already known that some of these digits are already divisible by seven. So we can conclude here. Therefore, since 42, 28, 35, and more so 56, are all divisible by seven, then we can conclude that 119 also is divisible by seven. So let's look at a little bit of a larger number. So example two. So let's consider the number 2,261. So I'm gonna grab the last digit, which is one. So one times five is gonna be equal to five, and I'm gonna to add to it 226. So five plus six is going to be 11, and two plus one is three, and then two. 
So the question then becomes, is 231 divisible by seven? Uh, well, I do not necessarily know for sure, so I'm gonna continue the process. So I'm gonna take the last digit, which is one again, multiply it by five, that's gonna give me five, and I'm gonna add to it the remaining digit, 23. So five plus 23 is gonna be equal to 28. So is this number divisible by uh, seven? Maybe you know, maybe you don't. So let's assume you don't. So I'm gonna take the last digit, which is eight, I'm gonna multiply by five. So it's gonna be 40, add to it its remaining digit, which is two. So 40 plus two is 42. So the question then becomes, is 42 divisible by seven? So you may know that 42 and 28 are all both divisible by seven, so you could have stopped at 28 if you wished. So therefore, since seven divides evenly into 28, and 42 and 231, that means seven divides evenly into 2,261. So let's look at a larger number, so example three. So let's consider 47,481. So I'm gonna continue, uh, as I did in the previous example. So one times five is gonna be equal to five, and I'm gonna to add to it its remaining number digit. So we have 4,748. So eight plus five is gonna be 13, so I have four plus one is five, seven, and four. So is this number divisible by seven? Uh, well, maybe you might not know that answer. So I'm gonna grab the last digit here, so that's gonna be three times five, that's gonna be 15. And I'm gonna to add to it its remaining digit, which is gonna be 475. So it's gonna be zero, so that's gonna be nine and four. So is this number divisible by seven? You may say yes, because seven goes into 49, since that's just a product of 10, but let's assume that you do not know this. So I'm gonna grab the last digit here, which is zero. So I'm gonna have zero times five, which we know is zero. Add to its remaining number 49. And nine plus zero is nine, and then we have four. So is 49 divisible by seven? Uh, hopefully uh, you may know that seven times seven is 49. So therefore, since seven divides evenly into 49, and moreover, 490 and 4,753, then we can conclude that seven also divides evenly into 47,481. So let's work through an example to sort of see how to test whether seven does not go into the number. So example four. So let's consider 62,491. So I'm going to grab the last digit in here. So that's gonna be one. So one times five is gonna be five, and then I'm gonna to add to it its remaining digit. So 6,249. So nine plus five is gonna be 14, carry the one. So four plus one is five, two, and six. So is this divisible by seven? Maybe you know, maybe you don't. So let's continue. So four times five is gonna be 20. I'm gonna to add to it 625. So that's gonna give us a five, four, and six. So 645 divisible by seven. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. So let's continue. So five times five is gonna be 25. I'm gonna to add to it 64. Five plus four is nine and six plus two is eight. So is 89 divisible by uh, seven? Maybe you know, maybe you don't. So let's continue. So its last digit is nine, and nine times five is gonna be equal to 40. I'm gonna to add to it its remaining digit. So we have 48. So is 48 divisible by seven? You should know the answer to this, but let's assume that you don't. Uh, so we have, uh, let's grab the last digit, so eight. So eight times five is gonna be 40, and add to it its remaining digit, which is gonna be 44. So is 44 divisible by eight? I mean seven, so maybe no, maybe don't. So let's continue. So four times five is gonna be equal to 20, 
add four to that, that's gonna be 24. So is 24 divisible by this number? Maybe you know, maybe you don't. So maybe you can pause for a moment to see where there is a minor miscalculation. Uh, if you notice that nine times five is not equal to 40, uh, then you are correct. Um, so let's just make that modification just slightly. So we have uh, nine times five is actually equal to a 45, right? So 45 plus eight is gonna give us a slightly different answer, namely 53. So 53, is that divisible by seven? Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Um, so what do we have? So we have three times five, that's gonna be 15. And 15 plus five is gonna be equal to 20. Um, we should know that 20 is not divisible by seven, so let's assume that you do not know this. Um, zero times five is gonna be equal to zero, and zero plus two is gonna be equal to two. Um, and I definitely can stop at this step. So what do we have? So therefore, since seven does not divide evenly into the numbers two, 20, 53, and of course you can see how it's easy to make simple arithmetic mistakes if you're moving fairly quickly. So we have 48, 89, 48, 89, and we have a few other numbers as well, 645. 645 and 6254. So from this process, this Chikas test, we can determine a lot of other numbers that are also divisible or not divisible by uh, seven. So since all of these are true, where our conclusion pretty much terminated at the number two, because two is less than seven, uh, and there's no number that divides into two besides two and one, so therefore we can conclude that seven does not divide evenly into 62,491. So this is Chica's test and how it's used to test whether a number is divisible by seven or not. Simply take the last digit, multiply by five, and add that, re that result by the number that is generated by its remaining digits. Hope you enjoyed.